a quiet place to movie review. Oh, that's right, baby. J-Rock is here. He saw the movie, and it's time for what he likes to call his movie versus trailer review. Well, we asked the question, which one was better? Was it the movie or was it the trailer? Come on back and let's talk this thing out. Highly, J Rock has come back to you too. What is happening in 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 with the millions <laughs> and millions of J Rock fans from all over the world? That's right, baby. J Rock is here, and we're about to have J Rock's movie versus trailer. <laughs> For a quiet place, two, no rhyme, and tending on that line. Oh, j got a chance to check out this movie, and it's time that we ask the question, which one was better? Was it the movie, the trailer, which one? But before we get into this, J-Rock says this, if this is your first time coming to the Great Ones channel, or you're back one more again, take a second, hit that subscribe button while they are chanting J-Rock's name. Now that you hit that subscribe button, take a second, hit that like button, comment down below where you found the Great Woods channel, and share. Also, any reaction request, something you want me to react to or check out, drop it down in the comment section below. Make sure you put a link to it as well. Uh, that way I know exactly what you want me to check out. If I choose your request, I'll give you a shout out right here on the Great Ones channel. Now, if this is your first time on J-Rock's Movie vs. Trailer Review, what we do is simply this. We're going to go through a trailer frame by frame. And we're going to pick apart exactly what is happening in this particular part of the trailer. And we're going to figure out, are they trying to overhype the movie with some good editing? Or did the movie actually live up to the hype? All right. So, saw the first one. I uh, really did enjoy that one. J-Rock enjoyed the first one, okay? But the second one. Let's get into this trailer, shall we? All right, so this is right at the beginning of the movie. This is gonna be pretty quick and straight to the point, okay? J-Rock thought, um, well, I'll give you my thoughts after we go through the trailer, okay? But right here, this is at the beginning of the movie, all right? The, at the, the movie starts out, basically, uh, it's telling us how the invasion started. These, these monsters or creatures, a big comet flew over the earth, and you know, it crashed, excuse me, crashed somewhere, and these candy-ass creatures, came up came through this invasion it just came out of nowhere nobody was expecting what was happening and then next thing you know they're at the baseball game at a little league baseball game uh watching one of their little sons i think his name was rogan regan oh it doesn't matter what his name is but they are watching him play baseball okay and then out of all out of a sudden out of nowhere um the damn comet crashes down and everybody's like uh oh uh yeah let's roll out okay and as they're leaving, creatures just, just come out of nowhere. They start attacking people. People are panicking, running around, trying to get out of there, uh, trying to get the kids out and make sure everybody's safe. And this is a part of the movie where um, the father, I can't remember his name, because you know why? It doesn't matter what your name is! He and his daughter come together. They're trying to escape, and, you know, they're hiding in this store uh, with a lot of other people, and... Apparently this lady forgot to turn and it's always some Rudy Poo candy ass who forgets to turn off the damn cell phone Okay, because that's exactly what happened. All right cell phone rang the damn thing heard it and here it came. All right Now they tried to make it seem like it was a bottle, but that's not exactly what happened See this is exactly let me go back just in case y'all didn't hear it. All right See, right there, they tried to get you to think in the trailer that it was a damn bottle that triggered the monster uh, to hearing it, but it was not. It was a cell phone. So that's why J-Rock does the movie versus trailer reviews. So you can actually figure out exactly is what they're selling in the trailer actually in the damn movie, okay? But we'll leave that alone. That was a uh, little detail right there. So let's move on to the next part. Obviously, the monster hears him. Everybody's running free. She's trying to get the hell out of there. This is right at the beginning. All right. All right. So right here. 
Let's see if I can go back. All right, so the daughter, this movie is basically about, you know, the first one was about them adapting to this new world where these creatures are there, right? Um, this this one uh, kind of picks up where the other one ends, right? They figured out exactly how to kill these monsters. They're hypersensitive to sound, okay? And so now the goal in this movie, they got to let the world know how to kill the creature, okay? So they're setting out on a journey to try to let the world know. But they meet up with this guy uh, on the way. Um, you know, apparently he has, you know, his kids are killed by the monsters. His wife dies of some sickness or whatever. And this little girl sets out, the daughter, she's trying to set out in order to get to the radio station. In order to let the world know this is how you kill the creatures, all right? So this is a shot of her right here. This is... Um, a little bit towards, I would say, maybe three quarters of the movie where apparently there is this safe haven, right? That people are, uh, uh, have been living in for, for years, apparently. And this song has been playing on, you know, repeat. I can't think of this song, but it's been playing on repeat. And it's basically telling people, hey, if you're out there, you don't have nowhere to go, come here. I think the National Guard, some put all these folks there, I can't remember. But they put all these people there and this is a part of the movie where you can tell something about to go down, okay? And what's getting ready to go down is that these monsters have uh, discovered this safe haven, okay? And it's about to go down. All right? This is towards the end right in the same part. See? Right here. The monsters have discovered the place. Now, here's one of the things that they discover about these creatures, okay? Uh, something that J-Rock didn't even think of, and J-Rock thinks of every damn thing, but something J-Rock didn't even think of is, can these monsters swim? No, they can't. This is actually one of the reasons why they're on this, I guess you can say this island near water, because these creatures can't swim, all right? And they can't breathe on the water either. So, you know, I guess, they, I guess they're safe around this area, but apparently the cre one of the creatures... Uh, gets on there and it just starts laying the smack down on some candy ass. Watch your profanity. And these are some children that are safe there. Yeah, and so this is their whole thing. They're trying to, they're locking the kids in there to keep them safe. This is her at the, um, at the radio station, right towards the end of the movie where her and the guy, I can't think of his name. That is correct. It does not matter what his name is. <laughs> but her and the guy um, finally make it to the radio station, all right? And she is about to send out the people's uh, sound to let the world know this is how you beat them, okay? And, you know, she's going to take her hearing aid. She's going to turn it up real loud. She's going to put it next to her microphone. And uh, this this radio frequency is about to shout. And I'll be let out this this great big sound. And all the monsters are going to be sensitive. Their, you know, their shell is going to be open up, whatever you want to call it. And it's going to be spo exposed. And then right there, wham, the smack will be laid down. This is right towards the end, though. And what she's looking at is one of those creatures coming towards her. Uh, so she's trying to be quiet, you know, keep her, enhance her calm, if you will. And this is the guy that she was with, not, you know, the guy, you know. Uh, apparently, the family at the beginning of the movie were taking a stroll, uh, trying to find, you know, more survivors, trying to figure out who they can tell how to kill these creatures. And y'all know they walking without shoes on, right? Bare feet. And the little boy, right, the youngster, gets his leg caught in a bear trap oh and he is screaming oh he is screaming his ass off the agony and the mom is trying to get her to you know shh, shh but he's like mom my freaking leg is caught in a bear trap okay kind of hard to be quiet right now um she's begging him and pleading to be quiet be quiet putting her hand over his mouth trying to keep him to be quiet she understands the pain that he's going through but she still wants him to be quiet because she knows that if she makes some noise it's about to go down. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, see, they're, they're barefoot. I think that's, is that, what's the name? I think so. All 
All right, so uh, they meet up with the guys you just saw, and he's been living in this facility, whatever you want to call it, uh, with all these pipes or whatnot, uh, for about maybe a year or two or something like that. And uh, he finds them, helps them, rescues them, brings them in. Um, but he tells them, hey, you can't stay here. Ain't enough food, ain't enough this, enough that. I can't support all y'all, all right? Uh, but somehow she convinces them to help her uh, on their journey to try to let folks know exactly how you kill the monster. So, and this is her there with him or at the place. This part of the movie uh, gets more into about people trying to survive, right? And they're trying to use this guy right here to lure one of the monsters in, if I'm if if memory serves me correctly, so they can kill it, right? They want to drown it, they want to kill it, and so they're using this little girl as bait to lure him in. And eventually, as you can see, this is the girl that's with him, but she's gonna tie this noose around his neck, and it has bottles attached to it. Obviously, you know, glass bottles make noise, and you know what that means. It's about to go down right there all right so this part right here um she left to go and get some supplies one of them being some oxygen for the little newborn baby because sometimes they have to keep the baby in the box but they have to put you know uh oxygen mask over him to keep him alive and they're running low on oxygen so she has to go find some at a drugstore by the time she comes back one of the monsters is there with her son and the newborn because the son stayed back to take care of the baby right um, so she's running back trying to get, get get everything with them um this is at the end right where before she's about to uh she's in in this train or something and she finds herself cornered by one of the monsters and she's about to you know cacao him but uh, the other guy shows up and does it instead. Do you smell what the rock is uh, let's see, what was this? But yeah, this is the newborn, the baby, and they have to keep him, you know, quiet. Cause, and if you have children out there, you understand exactly how difficult it can be to keep a baby quiet, okay? The monsters don't give a damn if it's a baby or, or if it's uh, somebody throwing rocks. It hears something, it's coming. All right, so I think this is like towards the end where she tries to set the facility that she's in on fire in order to kill the monster. Uh, don't work because, uh, you know, the sprinkler system comes on. That's where all the water is right here. And this is, um, I think that's the mom putting her, or is that the daughter? Putting her hand over his mouth so he don't scream. Obviously. And this is right at the beginning, right when they find the facility where the man is in to try to help asking for his help or whatnot let's see yeah this is toward the beginning they're you know on their journey um this is right after the boy's foot get caught in the trap and they hear the monsters coming so they're getting ready she has you know the amplifier ready and whatnot yep all right this is toward the end where they're racing because the creature has gotten to on the island now they're racing to the radio station She's in the back seat. And yeah, exactly. It's about to go down. So yeah, this right here, this is the beginning of the movie. Uh, it, right at the beginning. That's, you know, an omen to what hap ends up happening. The little boy dies in the first one. Um, I think they combine the trailers or whatnot, which is fine. Uh, ain't no bomb, brother. All right, so they're trying to get out of there. Yep, right at the beginning, barefoot. That's the little boy who gets his leg caught. Yeah, she's on the journey by herself. She leaves to go alone. That's the guy that helps them. Seen that? Yep. Yeah, that's right. Them at the radio station, trying to be quiet. 
And this is when they realize and see that the monster is here, okay? And I'm not talking about Braun Strowman, the monster. I'm talking about the creature that's coming to lay those smack down. All right, so on her way back from, you know, getting the supplies or whatnot, she goes, you remember in the first movie where the little boy dies because of the airplane? Uh, well, she goes back to his grave. She puts, you know, I think it was a wedding ring, if I'm not mistaken, on the grave or whatnot. Um, you know, because he's gone. Yeah, we've seen this part. Monster's coming. Saw that one. Yeah, she's in the back. So this is the part right here after they re after the man has helped he's rescued them they're inside this huge pipe right and they have to uh, tend to his womb on his leg or otherwise it'll get infected and so the man hands the lady you know a bottle of alcohol and uh, well J Rock says you can just use your imagination as to what happens next or you can just use your eyes because that's his reaction to what she does and uh yeah good thing he was inside the pipe because you know the sound is somewhat suppressed and you can't really hear it this is her uh getting ready to try to shoot at one of the the things or whatnot um oh yeah this right here hang on so they've made it to the radio station okay all right and one of the guys who was at the safe haven you know hears the story and he tells them what happens and they try to help each other but apparently he don't make it um he don't make it as you can see he's getting pulled out by the monster and they're at the radio station so. see here yeah this is that part right there trying to get into there yeah but the monster you know keeps her from closing the door but unfortunately for the monster arms aren't long enough to reach them all the way deep inside of the pipe J Rock says this uh, now that we've gone through the trailer it's time that we ask the question which one was better the movie or the trailer storyline was kind of bland right but what kept me interested are the tense moments the suspense, you know, the tense moments that they, you know, that they drop in there, here and there, right? You know, with the, with the little boy and then the baby and then, you know, the, the girl. Oh, there was a part in the movie, you know, the girl, the deaf, she's born deaf. And she wakes up and her hearing aid is gone. And she's looking, she's, she's, she's freaking out, she can't find it. Come to find out the guy that was with her took it and I guess he was doing something with it. Uh, but he brought it back to her and everything was cool. But that was a tense moment right there where you're like, oh, no. He, this jabroni took a damn hearing aid. But good thing he brought it back to her because that would have been jacked up. Because now she's deaf. All right. And she not only did she lose their weapon against the dang old monsters, she can't hear when the damn things are coming. But be that as it may, the storyline, the story was kind of bland, kind of dry. Um, I mean, it, it made sense, but it was still kind of kind of dry what kept me interested again was the suspenseful moments that they dropped in here and there the trailer i would say definitely made it seem that it was going to be more action but considering the fact that it is a quiet place um you don't expect a whole lot of action right um it was it wasn't as much action as i thought it was going to be but it was a a good amount of action and so with that said j-rock says who wins the movie or the trailer and this one j j-rock is going to give the movie the victory okay um because again you they showed this they basically we, we watched two trailers that were blended together and they a lot of this show basically the same thing right uh a few you know little things here or there but for the most part, the trailer was basically, they weren't really giving away hardly anything, all right? So I will say the movie was better than the trailer. Um, on a scale of one to five, I will say the movie was a 3.5 and the trailer was a 
okay movie 3.5 trailer 3.0 damn good movie um hope they come out with another one um and i'm guessing that if they come out with another one this is gonna be kind of like the coup de gras where they're gonna just let the world know this is how you kill them we're gonna you know come together and we're going to you know seek out these monsters you know we're gonna lure them in we're gonna make noise and as soon as they come in bam right because at the end of the day they're creatures they're not intelligent right they're hunters but they're not all that smart they're not like you know the predator or something that can adapt right they just hunt so i would say the movie was better than the trailer in this regards um but the trailers were pretty damn good the movie lived up to the hype that the trailer was selling even though there were some things that were in the trailer that weren't in the movie but it didn't you know it wasn't a deal breaker that sort of thing so j-rock says this what is your verdict which one was uh better to you the movie or the trailer there's a poll right now on the people's uh channel you go there and you select which one was better the movie or the trailer or post your comments down below and let j-rock know which one you thought was better the movie or the trailer all right also if you appreciated the great one's reaction to this movie versus trailer review make sure that you hit that hit that like button subscribe and share all right, let the world know about the Great Ones movie versus trailer review, okay? All right, it's kind of my own thing. I'm trying to, you know, make it famous, if you will. So, uh, but yeah. Also, be sure to hit that bell so you can be notified when it is time to be electrified. Thank you for joining J-Rock. Until next time. Mamba, Gigi, and Wakanda forever. Leave you some What J-Rock is. Cooking.